Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to create um, an outline around a picture. Um, sometimes you might want to design something like a promotional flyer and I'm sure you must have seen designs with outlines around. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that in CorelDRAW. So if you are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing, like, share and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post any new video. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. So as you can see, I'm in my Corel Draw. I'm in the case of Corel Draw 2019. Um, yours could be um a recent version or an older version. Um, I think anyone can work fine. So to um do that, first of all, what I'll be doing is to import the image I'll be using to show you how to do this. So I'll go down to File, go straight down to Import. Now to import, and I'm gonna be importing the um, image I'll be making use of. So, first of all, guys, um, before you do this, you make sure you must have removed the background already. So, you make sure the background is out. And so, I'm going to pick um, a PNG file, a picture without any background. So, um, so this is a picture I'll be making use of for this tutorial. So, I'll just select it and press import or click on import rather. So, I'll just come down. So where I want to place the image and just place it. So as you can see, this is my image, but it's too big, so I would like to reduce it a bit. So I'll reduce it and zoom it. If you make use of your mouse, you could just make use of your scroll button to zoom. But if you're not making use of your mouse, you could just hit Z on your keyboard to um, go down to the zoom key. Um, key I mean to and just zoom it to reduce it that if the image we imported is very very large so guys you can see this is okay for me so what i'm going to be doing next is i'm going to um i'm going to be creating um first of all as you can see this the borders of this image is too, is too far or should i say it's too wide so to crop it or to reduce the space i'll just go down to uh, my shape tool and reduce it you just go down to your shape tool and reduce it just to reduce the empty spaces so guys as you can see i've succeeded in reducing the empty spaces so what i'm going to be doing next is to duplicate this so i'll be making a duplicate of this by holding down ctrl plus d so um i'll take the i'll pick one of them and i'll just go down to effects go down to adjust go down to brightness contrast brightness slash contrast slash intensity i'll click on it then in dialog box is going to appear so when the dialog, dialog box appear um you just make sure as you can see this is already on uh, minus 100 for me but for some people they will all be in the middle just like this for some people they will all be in the middle like this so but if yours is like that to so reduce this just go down and let me sure you drag everything backwards or make sure brightness is on minus 100 contrast is on minus 100 and intensity is also on minus 100 then just click on ok so when i'm done um, reducing them what i'm going to be doing next is to um, go down to trace bitmap and i'll go down you could use any of them but i'm going to make use of quick trace so i'll just reduce it in case you're just showing that box just click on this is the purpose of I'm tracing the bitmap is so that you can be able to change the color in case you don't want to make use of black color if you want to make use of white you could change it but as you can see it's done um, tracing it so i'll just separate the traced one and delete the other one so as you can see it's deleted so i can basically change the the color of this so all i need to do is to go down to white and select white so it's changed so i'll bring my picture in then i'll make sure it's aligned um with this I'll make sure it aligns i'll just arrange it till it aligns so as you can see guys it's already aligned so what i'm going to be doing next is to give it an outline is to increase give it an outline and increase it so um as you can see this um i'm, I'm i've selected the picture up or, or at the top so to select the um one behind i'll just pull down out and click so as you can see the one the white one behind have been selected then i'll just give it an outline 
by right clicking on white so after right clicking on white i'll go down to my um outline um bar here or i'll go down to my um um outline width and increase it if you give it four you could increase it as you want so but for this i'll be giving it either eight or ten yes so eight is good for me guys so as you can see I ended up um, creating an outline um, outside um, or I ended up creating an outline for my image so to just finalize this all I need to do is highlight all of them and press ctrl plus g so as you can see guys um, it's already one image so that's basically how to create an outline around uh, an image or photo so guys if you found this tutorial helpful or found this video helpful please do consider to subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell so I'll be notified whenever I post any video. So uh, it's basically free, guys. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.